All right, I'm going to show you how to build your first App Inventor app. Um, and just, uh, you know, I've already set up the system with the designer open, and I just had to go to beta.appinventor.mit.edu to get there. Okay, and this opens the designer. Then I clicked on this button, which now it's grayed out because I already clicked on it, and it opens my blocks editor. And then I click on new emulator, and I get this emulator. So there's three screens you should have ready to get started. And I want to show you just what we're going to build. So on the emulator, I've already installed a version of this app to um, called Hello Kitty or Hello Purr. And all it is is a picture of Hallie Wilson's cat. And on the emulator, at least when you click it, the cat meows. <coughs> okay. And when you run it on the phone, you just have to press the screen and the cat will meow. And the phone will also vibrate. Okay. So that's what we're going to build. Um, let's close that app up, go back to the home screen, and we're, we're ready to go. <coughs> okay, we're going to start off in the designer. And the designer is where you build your um, kind of, you know, the way that the tool, uh, the way the app will look. Okay, and all we're going to have is a, is a simple button. Okay, and when you click that button, the cat will meow. Okay. Um, and what we're going to want to do is put an image in this button. So every button has a bunch of properties, okay? And one of the properties is the image property. So I can download any image and make it kind of be the, the face of the, of the button. Okay, for this kitty app, um, I'm going to, I've got some pictures, um, and you can actually get these pictures if you click on Learn, Setup, and go to Build Your First App. Okay, and in fact, here's some text tutorial to go through as well. But you can download a kitty picture, and of course, you could you could download this or, or some other picture from the web. But I'm going to save this thing onto my desktop. And it's a PNG file, so it's an image file. Okay, and that will show up on my desktop. Okay, and then also the sound file, the meow sound. I'm going to download this one, and and really the easiest way to download is to control click and say save link as. Um, and now I've got meow.mp3. Once again, I'll save on my desktop. Okay, so I haven't added these to App Inventor, not to my app yet, but I've got them on my computer. Okay, and these, there's nothing special about these files. Um, you could get your own picture files as well. Okay, so here's my app. Um, here's my behavior, which we don't have any yet. I've got an emulator, and I'm going to connect to device. and this is just going to make it so whatever I do over here or in the blocks editor will kind of immediately appear in the emulator. Okay, so when this comes up, right now it should just show my first app, okay, as the screen title, and then it'll show this button that just says text for button one. Okay, um, here it comes. So this is this is the testing app. All right, so the app's not really installed on here, but you can you can play around and, and make things change. Okay, so first thing I'll do is change the screen name, and let's call it uh, Hello Kitty. And you'll notice it changes directly um, on the on the screen. Second thing I'll do is change the image property of this button. Okay, so here's the image property. If I just click in this box click add and then I can browse and I can find any file on my computer and I want the kitty.png image so I'll open that one okay click OK and that you know basically the picture gets loaded in as media for my app and it also becomes the image property or the face of the button so this is still my button if I click it something's gonna happen um, but now it's got this image on it that shows up. And I'm going to get rid of the text here um, and just, just put, put that out of, out of the way. Um, I'm also going to add a label, just kind of some instructions for the user. Okay, and labels are just text. They, they, you know, the user can't type in there or anything, but all this is going to say is pet the kitty. Okay, and you know, you can mess around with how this is going to look like. You could set the background color to magenta, um, make the font bold, okay. Uh, but this is just decoration, right? Um, 
And right now this button is just decoration because I haven't shown the behavior for it yet. Okay, so my user interface is pretty set. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, I need one more component, and I'm going to go to the media folder, and there's a sound component. I'm going to drag this guy in. And this is basically a media player. I can play sound with it. Okay, so I've kind of got my app set up. Um, I've got this button, I've got a label that's just decoration, and I've got a sound component. And I'm just going to do one thing. I'm going to rename this button from button one. I'm going to call it Kitty Button. Now for this app, it doesn't really matter what I name these guys because it's such a small app, but it's very important that you do give these guys descriptive names in general because when we do define the behavior, uh, you're going to see the names of the components in the behavior editor. So you need to be able to, in your mind, know that, for instance, Kitty Button is this component right here.